All right, guys, just want to do a follow-up um, on the 21-minute ice bath. Uh, just kind of, you know, what your body feels like after and, th and that sort of thing. So I will say from the get-go, um, you never want to do an ice bath. Um, so the way that I get myself motivated to do it is I just don't think about it. I tell myself I'm going to do it, and I don't think about it. I just get the ice ready and go out there and try to clear my head and just jump in. So I go one leg in and the second leg, and I don't waste any time. I just go all the way down in the ice. Um, the first thing that you're going to feel, obviously, is the burn of the ice. It's going to take your breath away. Uh, so really the first thing is you're going to start focusing on breathing. Just because really you have to because you're going to start hyperventilating. Um, so you start to really focus on the in and the out of your breathing just to kind of help yourself get comfortable. Um, it is very uncomfortable for the first couple minutes. It burns. It doesn't let up. Um, after about five minutes, it's not burning so bad, but it's still uncomfortable. Um, and then at like 10 minutes, which is far longer than you should go, the experts say three to six minutes. Um, at about 10 minutes, your, your skin starts going numb. So it doesn't hurt as bad, but it's kind of dangerous uh, because you start not feeling the pain of being in the ice. And so it feels a little more serene just because your, your entire body's numb. Um, go to 15 minutes. I went to 21 minutes. Um, what happened to me is at the 21 win, um, minute mark, when I went to get out, my legs felt like 50% paralyzed from the cold water. Um, so I was moving like a sloth, really slow. Um, my legs were shaking, couldn't really feel anything, but it took me a long time to just kind of get inside. Um, because I did go so long, I did do kind of a hot shower. Um, you have a lot of different feelings when you're, you know, when you're in the shower, because when, when the water first hits you, you don't feel it, and then you become hypersensitive. Um, so for me, because I know I went in there too long, I stayed in the shower for five or 10 minutes just to kind of get my skin temperature back up. Um, and then for about an hour or two, I was still pretty cold, so I went to the gym to kind of work it off. Uh, but I felt wonderful the rest of the day. I mean, that dopamine hit, uh, I was just on a high for the rest of the day. So just to kind of tell you guys how it felt, um, hope you get something out of this. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Talk to you guys later.